Today is gonna to be a fun day. We are gonna go have coffee with Michelle at my favorite coffee shop called Insomnia. They make the best coffee. They're a local company and I love supporting local businesses. And then we're gonna go hit two of our favorite antique stores. And I'm wearing my new hat that my husband got me for my birthday. You guys, this is an authentic 1964 Ringo cap. I'm so excited about it. It fits me perfect. The only problem is I'm noticing I need to do a little bit of shaping because this side keeps kind of going loop. I didn't want to wait until this fall to wear it. So today there were a few clouds in the sky and I was like, that's it. I'm wearing my cap today. My friend has a space here. I wonder if she still has it. I would powder coat them and <laughs> make them all shiny. <laughs> they do look great though. Look at all the colors on this one. I know. This took a lot of years and a lot of different paint colors. It does work for outdoor. They're only $15 each. Is that an archery set? Mm -hmm. Whoa, that's neat. Man, that reminds me of doing archery at camp when I was a kid. No bow, just the arrows. Yeah. That's too bad. Oh, Michelle, you have to come see this. <laughs> Look at this little 1970s mushroom salt and pepper shakers. Oh, how is it? Oh, isn't that adorable? It's only $6.50 for the set. Those are so cute. I'm gonna get them. <laughs> I just love the mushroom shape. Oh, that's so cute. I'm gonna get it. Oh, the color on these is really pretty too. I've seen Yeah. Wow, twelve fifty for them. Oh, for the four. Oh, I can tell you right here. Sixteen fifty. Those are pretty. Do you need more glassware? Oh, uh, I'd love more glassware. <laughs> but, but, but we don't need it, huh? But, uh, yeah. Someone at home might go, what are we supposed to put this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I feel you. <laughs> I kind of like this painting down here, too. I wish it was more of a village than just a house. Sisters, Ho oh, it's a hospital. Santa Cruz, maybe? 1978 and it's only 950. Yeah, if that was like a Italian village, I'd get it for sure. It's real. Yeah, I think so. Look at this set here with the cranes on it. It's only 350. And that one's 1450. Aren't these beautiful? Oh, with the cranes. Oh, this is only 350 and that's only 1450. Oh, there's little salt and pepper shakers too. Oh my gosh, now those are adorable. 350. Okay, I have to get those. Do you think it's okay that I break up a set? No, I'm gonna leave them. I want them to stay together. Sometimes it just doesn't feel right. These ones I am gonna get though. These are metal, they're copper, $2. How are they going to make any money on it for $2? Wow. That's a great deal. 
It's really unique too. It's yeah. definitely a one of a kind. Oh yeah, definitely handmade. Yeah, thirteen dollars, Michelle. That's a great deal. I just spotted an Italian piece of pottery. Is that, is that Italian? I think that's a Batosi for sure, Italian. It's only twenty-eight dollars. It's really big. Very carefully. Ooh, it's really big. It's so pretty. It's gorgeous. Look at all the colors. Look at oh, it's Steined Italy. Fantastic. That looks very Art Deco with that handle. Mm -hmm. Do you think it's that old? I do. Really? I think it's probably <gasps> I'm getting that for you. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, That's a not. gift. That is your gift for hanging out with me today. Oh, yeah. What does that say? Made in England? Yeah. Look at all those stamps. <gasps> it's, it's plate, though. Go put it in the pile. Go put okay. it in the pile. Michelle, have you heard the term when pigs fly? I had never heard that. Oh, no. It's just like the one you just gave me almost. Oh, it's got the strainer right there yeah. in it. There's another one up here too. This one's got a little acorn on it. This is making me miss the Japanese gardens. I hope we get to go again. Hopefully soon. This looks like dragon scales. Oh my goodness. That's a really it's, neat piece. It's, it's cracked oh and signed. That is very you. <laughs> Wabi Sabi, we were just talking about. I like the ones that have the wood yeah. like this. It's a softer sound. Yeah. Ooh, that's a good collection of them. Oh, we can listen to that with tea in your garden. Okay. <laughs> I think this is a flute. A lot of these, if you blow in the back there, the music comes out, but I'm not going to test it out. Not during these times. Does that loosen? A little bit. Oh, no. It, it's a leg to a chair. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> is it a box? What kind of contraption is it? It's a chair leg. Womp, womp, womp. Hey, look, it's a pot scurver like the one I got you in Nebraska. Oh. What? Is that ironwood? Is that for your hair? Like stick it in the back in a big bun? Like a big huh. Michelle, come here. Look at these Ikebana vases. Wow. Ten dollars. <gasps> Do you want it? You should get that one. No, you get it. No, you get it. <laughs> I'm serious. No, you get it. <laughs> one of us has to. You get it. Oh, look, handcrafted in Beaverton, Oregon. Okay. I know now we're now we're like oh nah, nah, it's just so new even though it's handcrafted first we were fighting over it now neither of us <laughs> these are absolutely beautiful these are old they look very art deco oh yeah I've seen those before yeah they are are they really that old yeah those aren't that's not a reproduction if well, they say Czechoslovakia, that means it's pre or You know, it's now the Czech Republic. Oh, I really, really love them. I would probably use the sugar and maybe pepper, but I just, yeah. I can't break it up. Can't do it.
Just what the doctor ordered. I'd probably put like a, a shot of limoncello in it. <laughs> these are really pretty. They've got little dragons. What do you think these are for? Hmm. It's almost like you could scoop something and then rest it. I think I'm gonna get them. I'll do some research on them. They're just really pretty. Oh, he's only got a floating head. Oh, <laughs> it is. Oh, she loved cats. <laughs> I think that's a great gift. Oh my, wow. Are those from the Philippines? I don't know why this reminds me of the Philippines. That's beautiful. Oh my gosh, that love seat. <gasps> Look oh at the no. curve. No, I need it. <gasps> Look how the backs are curved. <sighs> oh my gosh. I need a couch for my front room, Michelle. <laughs> oh my gosh. Trouble. All right, we got to stop the video and send Jesse a picture. This one says it's a wooden pipe holder. It's only $29. And you know what I would use this for? I would put little hors d'oeuvres down here and you could put spoons or forks right there. And then you could put crackers up top. All right, we are using our imagination over here and we're gonna repurpose this pipe holder into a snack tray. It's gonna be delicious. Oh, I can bring this when we have tea at your house. Okay. Can I take a look at a couple of the pairs of earrings in here? You can. Thank you. Oh, that's a great deal. Yeah. That's really pretty. Think, like, this, this is not a big deal. That, oh, you could easily take that off, yeah, though. Because it's I got thought. the little loops right there. Yeah, yeah, that's a little hokey, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, signed. Great deal. That's really I'm beautiful. Sure. And then are you going to get the hair clip, too? Yeah. <gasps> it's so pretty. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's only $8 for the pair of two, and these are real Oregon myrtle wood. It's stunning, Michelle. You know, I've actually been thinking recently that I need to start figuring out how to style my hair. Let's have a hair night. <laughs> I had such a wonderful time with Michelle. I hope you guys had fun tagging along with us today. I wanted to show you a few of the pieces that I got today, and we have to start out with the Batosi because I mean come on I just found a Batosi look how big it is it is such a large beautiful piece no chips on it it's in perfect condition when I first spotted it I knew it was a Batosi immediately just by the texture and the finish and I was pretty confident that this was made for the company Raymore which was a high-end department store that had Batosi manufacture a lot of pieces for them one of the ways that you can tell is that it has the Italy signature there on the bottom but there are no numbers saying you know 
know, 14 out of 64 or 12 out of 180, that means it's a more limited edition. Whenever it's missing those marks, it probably means that it was manufactured by Potosi for a department store. In this case, pretty confident I can put my stamp of approval that this is a Batosi piece for Raymore. And it was only $28. What a steal for such a beautiful 1960s piece of Italian pottery. Another beautiful, colorful vase. This one is an antique Japanese vase, and it is a very heavy, solid brass vase. Look at the detail right here in that brass work. It's got the cloisonne here with all of these different colors and this beautiful botanical design, such a beautiful piece. And it's got these great handles here on the sides. This is one of my very favorite shapes of vases to find. I love when it's got the handles on both sides. It makes it look very ancient. And it's got a little face right there in the design. This is such a gorgeous piece and it was only $20. I got myself a little DIY to do today and I'm very excited about it. I love these candle holders, but I am not a fan of this red kind of film that's been added onto here. My goal is to bring these back to the original clear glass. And I think that those will be absolutely beautiful once all of this mess is removed. I have no idea what I'm doing. I've never tried this before, but you can see it's already peeling back right here and you can see the clear glass underneath. So I'm feeling pretty confident that what I need to do is I need to soak these really well, remove the red film, and then maybe use some Goo Gone? I don't know, we'll see. I found two amazing antique sterling silver rings at Snyder's. This one is a beautiful multicolored agate stone. This one here is a Mexican sterling ring and you can see by the patina how old both of these pieces are. This one looks a lot like it could be a butterfly wing, but I've never seen it in this kind of pinkish color before. So I'm gonna do a little bit more research on that one. And I got two pairs of earrings from La Stuff and both of them I'm going to be doing a little bit of reworking on. This was such a great deal for these little vintage turquoise squash blossom earrings. These were $20 as is because there was only one of the original screw backs and this one came without it. But that's okay because you guys know that I love to rework jewelry and it's such an easy quick fix to make these both for pierced ears. These ones were a little bit more of a splurge. They were $40 but I think that the stones in them are absolutely beautiful and they look like Navajo pieces. They're both signed on the back. I think I'm gonna rework these ones a little bit too. I miss working on jewelry so much ever since we started moving. I haven't had time to do it. But after finding these two pairs of earrings today, I'm determined we are going to make some jewelry. Today, Michelle gave me my birthday present and it was so funny that she ended up taking home two teapots because this was the gift that she gave to me today. Now that Michelle and I just live a few minutes away from each other, I'm really looking forward to some little garden tea parties this summer. And for my birthday present that I was so excited for, do any of you guys remember this gorgeous vintage 1970s skirt that I showed you a few months back? Well, I was in love with it, but it didn't fit me. And Michelle is wonderful at sewing and she reconfigured it so it should fit me. I am melting here in the car. Let's get inside. Let's do a little try on with the skirt and rework some jewelry and maybe we'll have some tea together. So I've got the pipe holder all washed up and cleaned. And my husband and I just walked up to New Seasons and got some cheeses and crackers. And we are going to transform this. <music> Sadly, the forks that I have that I was hoping to use do not quite work. I thought that'd be cute if I could put the little forks there. Or I have these little knives right here that are for cheese, for spreading, and they don't fit either. So I don't have anything that will work utensil-wise in there, but I still think it's a great idea. And look, it can keep all of the bread. You could fill that with crackers, potato chips, all kinds of yummies. You ready to snack over here, babe? All right, we're gonna test these babies out. So I'm just gonna put some Blue Dawn in here. A little more. And then I've got some hot water. And we're just gonna drop these babies in and see what happens. I'll come back here maybe in an hour or so and see if any of this is coming off. And I've got some Goo Gone ready to go just in case. We 
we put on a movie last night and I completely forgot about this. And this is what I woke up to this morning. So let's see what we're working with. Looks like it did come off. Oh, fantastic. It looks like this is gonna just scrape right off. All right, let's see what these look like when I'm all done. <laughs> Y'all ready for this? I'm just gonna snip that off. Did you do it at any specific angle or you just went no, for it? Because this pump I got. So we're gonna stick this on here. How did you know that was the same size? Are they standard? I, I yes, actually, I just assumed. <laughs> We have a long common babe. <laughs> I also didn't measure if the pump was actually gonna fit in this hole. Oh, nuh-uh. -uh. just... Oh my gosh, you're just hoping? Yeah. Oh, it fits just fine. Oh, I was gonna do some like slow music that's like dun 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 <laughs> dun, dun but you just went right in. I didn't measure though, I just... Who has time for measuring? Mm -hmm. And it's okay to have electrical things down in water? Well, it's a, it's made to be submerged in water. Okay. Yes. Still seems a little scary. It's like a fish pump. Oh, okay. Or an aquarium pump or a fountain pump. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized my pretty flowers are in a blazer cup over there. <laughs> you guys, <Scary> porter. <laughs> this is uh, what you call compromise. The husband and the wife compromise right there. A uh, vintage. <laughs> they are vintage. Vintage blazers. <laughs> Eighty-three, ninety-four, Dairy Queen. We used to go up to Dairy Queen when we were kids, both of us. We didn't know each other, but to collect the blazer cups. These were a big deal. If you grew up in Portland in the nineties, the Dairy Queen blazer cups were a big deal. Yeah. Hi, Boise. Oh, that spooked him. He's out of here. Oh, moment of truth. Look out, Fuzz. Yeah, watch out, buddy. Oh no, he's gonna drink he the water. It's a drinking he's mechanism. like, oh mom and dad, thanks for getting me a water fountain. It's what I've always wanted. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <gasps> it works. Whoa, that comes pretty hot. That's fantastic. I'll make sure it's not dripping up and Fuzzy, what do you think? <laughs> he wants to drink it. He's gonna. <laughs> Not bad. So what did we end up paying? I paid $9.99 for it. And then how much was the pump? $12.99? It was, yeah. Under it might have been under $10. Bucks, under under 10? 10 Sweet. Yeah. So probably roughly around $20. And these, I haven't found this exact one online, but similar ones sell for anywhere from $100 to $150. This whole project costs less than $25,000. <laughs> that is true. Well, now that he figured it out. Oh no. Fuzzy. <laughs> He's so cute. <sighs> the water fountain would have been the perfect addition to our covered back porch at the house we're getting ready to list for sale right now. But I'm telling myself that's okay. Someday I will have a beautiful covered patio again. And for now, I will just enjoy this in my little 10 foot by 10 foot backyard in our rental home. And I will be okay with that. Just sitting down to film this got me so excited because I miss doing the jewelry repurposing so much. For those of you who have not seen me do one of these videos yet, I'm going to be taking a lot of little random bits that I have found from pawn shops. A lot of times I get these pieces in the silver scrap 
and they're going to be melted down because it's just a single earring. And I like to go try to save as much of this stuff as I possibly can. These are the squash blossom earrings that I just got. And you can see that one of them has the original clip on earring and then the other one is missing it. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this one off and just make these ones for pierce ears. These ones, however, I think I'm gonna go ahead and leave them original. And the reason why is because they're artist signed here on the back. And I feel like I wanna leave them in the original condition how they were made. But what I will do is when I sell these, I will include a pair of sterling silver ear wires for pierced ears so that whoever buys them will have that option. And you can see if you look really closely, right here, it's so easy to just very carefully open that up take this off and add it to a pierced ear wire. These were ones I found at a pawn shop and I actually bought them separately from the same pawn shop but on two different trips. So I was very excited when I found the second one. What I like to do with these smaller earrings is find something like this that has double-sided loops and that way you can extend it and make it just a little bit more dramatic. I personally love longer earrings, so I think it's really fun whenever you can extend them to make them longer. And of course, I think more is more, so I'm always grabbing these vintage sterling feathers out of the silver scrap. I don't want these babies getting melted. Here's like an example. If you had an earring like this, and maybe say you had some smaller round ones, you can very easily add these to the center to just make it a more dramatic earring. This is getting me really excited just looking at all of this. I can't wait to get back to some jewelry making and I'm gonna be hitting up some pawn shops here soon to see if I can find more pieces that I can save from getting melted. Here's a close up of this ring I picked up. Do you see what I'm saying? How it really looks like it has the butterfly wing veining in it, but I've just never seen this color combination. When the light hits it, it almost looks like a dragon's eyeball. All right, I'm gonna leave you guys completely hanging because something really exciting just arrived at my house. I'm in my work clothes. I'm ready to get upstairs and get working in my bedroom studio space. And I can't wait to share with you guys next week what I just got. I'm too excited, I've gotta go, but I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. If you want to shop my vintage finds, I list my brand new vintage the first Friday of every single month on my website, leftcoastrevivals.com. And if you want to follow me on Instagram, it's at leftcoastrevivals. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe. I know it's cheesy, but it helps my channel a lot and I am super grateful for all the support. I will see you guys in a brand new adventure next week.